Today, we're going to do an oil change on a 2016 Ford Mustang. He met me, not we. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the oil cap. This is the tiniest oil cap I've ever seen in my life. But it's so tiny, it looks like a toy. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jack the car up. All right, once you have the car lifted and secured with the jack stand, we're gonna go ahead and crawl underneath, just like that. <laughs> and there's our filter and there's our bolt to remove the oil. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, and we're gonna be using a 15 millimeter to remove the nut out of its place. All right, so there's the bolt we gotta remove. Go ahead and break it loose. Might need both hands. All right, once you break it loose, it's still a little tight. oil catch pan ready go ahead and remove the bolt from its location these customers just drove from Visalia and it's hot as fuck oh that oil's hot so go ahead and just let it all drain out and then we'll remove the oil filter which is somewhere right there all right while that is finishing it's perfect time to grab the bolt and clean it up. And we'll just let all the oil finish training. All right, you could wait a little bit longer or you could just go ahead and cap it. I'm gonna go ahead and cap it from now. And just put that bolt all the way in. We're gonna go ahead and secure it. Not too tight. Just nice and snug. Perfect. All right. Oh, just wipe this down. That's it. Now we'll remove the oil filter. Just locate it right there. All right, we should be able to remove this filter by hand. Should not be over tightened. It's coming off loose. All right. I'm gonna have my oil catch pan ready. And put it just right underneath the oil filter. And we'll go ahead and remove it. Oh, there it goes. Nice and hot, so we'll let that drain out. All the way. My glove is burning. Ooh, that's hot. All right, once it finished draining, just go ahead and remove the filter completely from its location. And just put it in there. Try not to make a mess on yourself or on the floor. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's the new filter and there's the part number. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. All right, what I usually like to do is grab a little bit of oil and just rub it around this rubber seal. Just like so. And now I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into its place. All right, and you just wanna grab a rag and twist it to clean it up and to tighten it. You want those hand tightened, not any more than that. Let's go ahead and remove all our oil. We'll lower the vehicle. Remove the jack stand first. Then decompress the jack nice and slowly. All right, then we're going to grab our funnel.
insert it up here. Grab our oil and go ahead and pour it in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this single-handedly to see if I could. All right. There it is. Sorry, keeping my eye on the price, not on the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that fill up. I don't think you guys wanna watch that. Don't wanna make a mess. All right, once you pour all the oil, go ahead and cap it off with this baby cap. And there it is. You know what, that's actually upside down. There it is, sweet. And my boss wants to shut us out, Clovis Motor City. Come check us out where we have these beautiful, wonderful cars with an oil change, brake change, full service here. Sweet, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.